The procedure begins by making an incision on the mother's abdomen. We expose the uterus through that incision. The next step is to place a needle into the amniotic space next to the fetus under ultrasound guidance. Through that needle, we infuse fluid to expand the amniotic space. A guide wire is passed through the needle. The needle is removed and an introducer is passed over the guide wire. Through the introducer, an amnioport catheter is threaded into the amniotic space. The introducer is removed. The catheter is first secured to the uterus using a purse string suture. Following the purse string suture, the uterus is folded over the catheter for a length of about five centimeters. This is similar to a Witzel tunnel used in other operations. The next step is to create a tissue pocket on the lower chest wall of the mother. We then connect a catheter to a tunneling rod. The catheter is then tunneled under the mother's skin to the tissue pocket on the chest wall. The catheter is connected to the reservoir. We insert the amniaport reservoir into the tissue pocket. The amniaport reservoir is sutured in place on the maternal chest wall. The incision is then closed over the reservoir. Finally, the maternal abdomen is closed. This allows us to access the amniaport reservoir with special needles to infuse fluid into the amniotic space. This fluid is necessary because the fetal kidneys no longer make urine.